in engineering, having a 3D model is no good unless somebody can draw useful information from it. The traditional approach to this has been to create 2D drawings from the 3D models onto which we put our dimensions. With the recent updates in Inventor, it's possible to put the dimensions directly onto the 3D model itself. And this is really, really cool because it allows us to share the design in new ways. What we're going to do in this video is quickly add in the 3D dimensions onto the model itself and then export it as a 3D PDF. So what that looks like here, we will go to the annotate tab in the 3D modeling environment. And here we're going to click dimension. Firstly, it'll ask us what standards we are dimensioning to. In this case, I'm going to choose ISO. We'll click OK. And then you will dimension typically as you would in a drawing. So we will say, uh, I want the uh, dimension of that line there. And we'll tick. I want the dimension of this line here. Yep. And if you're unhappy with the plane onto which that dimension was placed, you can right click at any time and say next annotation plane or next candidate plane. So say, for example, you wanted the dimension to show up there. I am going to undo that because I liked what it originally had suggested and have the dimension there. And you can do all the dimensions that you'd usually do inside um, a 2D drawing, including hole and thread annotations. Once you've added in all your information, your text, say for example, surface is machined. Once you've added in all your annotations, what you're able to do is export it as a 3D PDF. To do that, we'll just click here. Um, here you can play around with what the user can and cannot see. And when you're happy with what you've got, what you can do is click publish. And you end up with a 3D PDF that anybody with Adobe can open, see the 3D model, and the annotations that you placed on it. I think that this is the future of, um, of drafting, and that we'll have queryable 3D models that will hand directly to the shop floor.